Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, if you are using the Microsoft Authenticator app, which is an app that you put on your phone uh, that usually uh, will help you, of course, do two-factor authentication, uh, one of these two-factor authentication that was possible through this app was by using passwords that were stored in the app itself. Uh, so Microsoft is going to actually remove that functionality, the password functionality, will not be available um, past July 2025. So the app itself still works. You still can do two-factor authentication through the app. You just uh, will need to know that you have to transition the passwords that you might have stored in it and sync them with Microsoft Edge. So what Microsoft says, if you want to do that, you install Microsoft Edge on your phone, and it will automatically link with the uh, the Authenticator app to get those that information synchronized. So it's a change that they're doing uh, on the app itself, but overall the app still will function as normal, like you know, as a second uh, way of uh, just approving a sign-in, for example, uh, things like that. They're getting a, sp a special code that's good for like a minute or two uh, to uh, log in or 30 seconds, I think it's 30 seconds. Uh, it's just really the part where you might have stored some per personal info like passwords where this is going to be uh, removed on the Authenticator app. Uh, I don't use it a lot, but I do use it with the Microsoft accounts. Um, I find it to be useful on the phones uh, to uh, you know just do a two-factor authentication when you go into another computer, for example. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.